Taylor Swift has a long line of exes, but who was the person who took Taylor Swift's virginity? Here's everything you need to know about Taylor Swift lost her virginity to who? The Mystery Man Taylor Swift has dated some of the most popular celebrities and has been in her fair share of relationships. But out of all the people Taylor Swift has dated, who took her virginity? Well, even though you might not remember who Jake Gyllenhaal is, this guy was the one who took Taylor Swift's virginity. However, like many other people that Taylor Swift has dated, there was a lot of drama involved with Jake Gyllenhaal, and there were rumors about Jake Gyllenhaal abandoning Taylor Swift on her 21st birthday party. Before Taylor Swift became the popular sensation that she is in the music industry, and before the long line of exes, Taylor Swift had the opinion that she wanted to wait till marriage to lose her virginity. However, only after three months of dating Jake Gyllenhaal, Taylor Swift ended up losing her virginity to him, and it seems like she abandoned the after-marriage pact that she had made with herself. However, soon after this, Taylor Swift threw her 21st birthday in December 2010, and Jay Gyllenhaal did not show up for the party, leading Taylor Swift having a major breakdown in front of her friends. Before we get into more details about Taylor Swift losing her virginity to Jay Gyllenhaal, if you are liking our content so far, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to stay updated with news about your favorite celebrities, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button, so you can get notified every time we post a new video. You know what? It's really great to see you. <laughs> Writing a song about it. Being a sensation in the music industry means that Taylor Swift conveys most of her emotions and life stories through her music. Naturally, whatever happened with Jake Gyllenhaal was also narrated to Taylor Swift's fans through her music. Fans have concluded that they can sense hints of what happened between Taylor Swift and Jake Gyllenhaal through her song, The Moment I Knew, which was part of her album Red. If you've heard the song and knew about this tragic incident in Taylor Swift's life, then we're sure you were able to connect the dots. But if you couldn't, then don't worry, since Taylor Swift is usually very subtle about the hints that she leaves for her fans, and sometimes even her biggest fans end up not understanding the full meaning behind the hints. Did Jake Gyllenhaal really take Taylor Swift's virginity? When it comes to Taylor Swift, there are usually a lot of rumors involved, and sometimes these rumors are proven false. So, is the rumor about Jake Gyllenhaal taking Taylor Swift's virginity true? Well, even though a lot of sources have reported that Jake Gyllenhaal was the one who stole Taylor Swift's virginity, there's no guaranteeing that this is the truth. This is something that is super private, and probably something that even Taylor Swift's closest friends wouldn't even know. However, while the rumor about Jake Gyllenhaal and Taylor Swift's virginity might not be true, what about Jake Gyllenhaal not showing up to her 21st birthday party? Well, it's not news that most of Taylor Swift's album Red revolves around her relationship with Jake Gyllenhaal, and if you listen closely to the song The Moment I Knew, Taylor does mention that she's wearing a party dress and her lover doesn't show up. She also talks about crying in front of her friends, and that was the moment she knew her relationship was doomed. Well, this is an exact narration of the events that happened, thus showing the rumors about Jake Gyllenhaal not being a no-show at Taylor's 21st birthday party were true. Easter Eggs and Jake Gyllenhaal Facing Backlash Well, we all know Taylor Swift is famous for putting Easter eggs in her albums, and at this point it's safe to say that her fans are detectives. After Taylor Swift released the uncut version of her 10-minute song, All Too Well, fans were convinced that the scarf she talks about in the song is her virginity. Even though Taylor Swift and Jake Gyllenhaal dated for only three months, their relationship has been in the spotlight for a very long time, and after Taylor's re-recording of her albums, their relationship has been brought back in the spotlight. For the past 10 years, Jake Gyllenhaal has been questioned constantly about what really happened between him and Taylor Swift, but he's chosen to stay silent on the topic. However, fans are now attacking Jake Gyllenhaal for stealing Taylor's virginity and not treating her well, since in the song, Taylor says that she never got her scarf back. However, this is only a theory, and neither Taylor Swift nor Jake Gyllenhaal have confirmed the rumors about the scarf signifying Taylor Swift's virginity. Was it a surprise? You must be wondering who was the source that revealed this crucial piece of information about Taylor Swift losing her virginity to Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, with Taylor re-recording her albums, one of her friends came forward and revealed that Jake Gyllenhaal is the guy who stole her virginity. Taylor's relationship with Jake Gyllenhaal is probably one of her shortest-lived relationships, and it was definitely quite a big shock for many people, since Taylor and Jake were clearly not that serious about their relationship. However, Taylor Swift dedicating an entire album to Jake Gyllenhaal can be considered as proof that he did play a huge role in her life. Well, we all know how they say you never forget your first, and it seems like this saying also applies in Taylor Swift's life. 